Hey, this is Juan with Firefield. We're going to take some time to go over the Firefield Nightfall 2 5x50 night vision monocular. I'll be going over the technology, characteristics, and how to focus the unit properly. The Firefield Nightfall 2 is a Generation 1 night vision monocular. Generation 1 is the world's most commonly used night vision technology. Things to keep in mind about Generation 1 is the unit's sensitivity to light. You want to make sure that you do not have the lens exposed during the day. If you require the use of the unit during the day, keep the lens cap on. There is a pinhole in the cap that will allow you to look through the unit in bright conditions. Second, you may see spots in the image. These are normal for Generation 1 night vision units and are not a defect. There is a card provided for additional information along with your unit pertaining to these spots. With your unit, you will receive a carrying case, a user manual, a lens cleaning cloth, a wrist strap, and a lens cap. To power up the unit, first you will need two AA batteries. They can be inserted here. The unit has two buttons. The button closest to the eyepiece is the on button. A green LED located next to the on button will light up when the unit is powered on. The other button is the IR button. The IR illuminator acts as an invisible flashlight producing a beam that is only visible through a night vision device. The same LED will turn red when both the unit and the IR are on. When using your Nightfall 2 for the first time, you want to focus the unit properly. I am using the unit during the day, thus I have kept the lens cap on. First you want to focus the objective lens, which is located at the front of the unit. Second, you want to focus the ocular lens, often referred to as the eyepiece. Once you're done using the Nightfall 2, you can power it off by pressing the on button. You'll notice if you look through the unit, it may appear on, but the internal components are powering down. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and if you have any more questions, please visit our website at fire-field.com.